gathering its strength. If left unchecked, it will grow until its evil influence burns away all that is good in this world. It has appeared in Langley's dreams for many years. Often as a gigantic figure striding through the land, leaving nothing but pain, anguish, and death in its wake. He calls it the Doom Strider. In the same dream, he sometimes sees a handsome blue Khajiit defeat the menace with his help. He calls this fellow the Champion. That is me, my friend. Much of Langley's prophecy is hazy, and he says that sometimes his dreams show more than one possible outcome. But now he and I have finally met, he believes we stand a good chance of preventing much suffering. <sighs> this one does not know if uh, we should be trusting Langley and his visions. This may see. Yeah, this may sound weird to you, given that I grew up with a necromancer for a mother, which I'm sure I've told you before, but... Hmm... Eh, this one does not... I am not... I'm not a champion. Do I look like a champion to you? Anyway, tell me about Langley. Can we actually trust him? Do you trust him? He is interesting. I'm... I... See, if you say so, how do his visions work? Langley has dreams that often come true. He usually foresees the beginning, the middle, or the end of a future event, but never all three. Mm. So he may know that a man at the market will get into a fight, but he won't know why. Or he will see a dead man at the market, but not know how he died. To make matters worse, he sometimes sees two or more possible endings. Until we met, he couldn't be sure that we ever would. He is understandably relieved. Huh. Huh. Sorry, I have been all over the place looking for snow thrush eggs all day. Anyway. Tell me about his search for you. Ever since I appeared in his dreams, he has been looking for me. All he knew in the beginning was that the champion was Khajiit, avoided death at an early age, and had blue fur. He finally heard about a remote village among the shifting sands of elsewhere that ritualistically sacrifices any child born among their number whose fur is blue. He deduced that the champion was likely a blue child from this village that somehow escaped their fate. He set off in search of the village, but on the way, he found Riverhold and heard about me. This was a few years after Fergus and I left to find our fortune though, so he began tracking us. Along the way, he heard tales about my brother and I. He even collected mementos from our endeavors. You can see a few of them over there on those shelves by the chest. After uh. finding Fergus lying among the remains of our camp, he lost track of me. The years went by, and he grew weary. He eventually returned here, and employed a group of adventurers to continue the search for me, and to look for any signs of the Doomstrider. He also paid a conjuration mage to concoct a summon Inigo spell. <laughs> My mind vibrations were the result of him trying unsuccessfully to use the spell. Okay, yeah, this one figured as much. Conjuration spells are notoriously tricky from what I've heard, which is why I am not a mage. <laughs> okay, can I ask you something else? What would you like to know? Uh, I'm curious about some details about uh, the information that uh, Langley shared with you. What details can I help you with? Well, tell me about these books. They are called In Search of a Champion and Da Vinci's Journal. My father wrote the journal, and Langley wrote In Search of a Champion. Hmm, what Langley's a books contain the story of his search for me, and a few tales about Fergus and I. The journal hmm. is my father's personal account of our upbringing. In my opinion, the books are informative and quite moving. Okay, and what can you tell me about uh, the Doomstrider? That sounds like... danger, with a name like the Doomstrider. 
Is it like a like a person or a dragon or a what do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. Langley is the man to ask about that. All I know is that I am destined to fight whatever or whoever it is. Hmm. I hope you will be at my side when the time comes, my friend. Of course, I will do my best to keep this from interfering with my debt to you. Well, hey. <sighs> Even if we have to go fight a world-ending evil, I suppose I am with you all the way, Inigo. This one is with you till the end of the line. It warms my heart to hear you say that, my friend. With your help, I know I can finally put some good back into this world. That was surprisingly touching, actually. I am not sure why. Perhaps it's because we both started out as, well, kind of bandits. This one has not done very good things to some people. I prefer to not think about those days, but... What have you learned about your past? Like all Khajiit, my physical characteristics were probably determined by the moons at my birth. Well, yeah. I seem to be the product of a very rare celestial alignment that only occurs briefly, every few hundred years or so. Hmm. In the backward village where I was born, a blue child was seen as a bad moon omen. I would have been sacrificed if my birth mother had not smuggled Fergus and I away. Yikes. Was Fergus in danger too? Was his fur blue as well? We were not identical, but we were twins. Perhaps his life was forfeit by association. Ah. Whatever the case, I like to think that my birth mother could not bear the idea of separating us. So if he was your twin... Well, I was going to ask why wasn't he blue, but then again my mother is, uh, well... <laughs> Blackford, so, you know. I can only guess that there was enough time between our births for the moons to shift. Langley thinks the alignment that produced me may only last for a few moments. I am incredibly unique, my friend. <laughs> you definitely are that. Okay, can I ask you something else? What would you like to know? Well, what happens next? Do you intend to pursue this Doomstrider, or uh, are we... You know, I told you I'm with you till the end of the line, but are we going to continue forward from here, or are you going to go off on your own now? We wait for Langley to receive more information, either from his sources or his dreams. When he hears something new, he will let us know. How will he contact us? I, uh, kind of prefer to, uh, keep a low profile, sort of, as much as I possibly can. It's a habit. He will use the summon spell to vibrate my mind again. Oh. My mind is not looking forward to it. Oh, great. Okay, well, thank you for telling me, Inigo. Okay. What? Any other thoughts you'd like to share with me? Those items on the shelves Langley salvaged from my past bring back some good memories. Okay. Uh... Can I ask you something else? Sure. You know, never mind. Alright. I should probably go talk to Langley. Okay. Let us go. I'm right behind you. Well, at least I, uh, I hope let us go. I really can't bear the thought of, uh, I don't know, not knowing where you're at. But, whatever. Huh. I assume you mean these shelves? Perhaps. That is, a interesting. That is a lot of skulls. Ugh. Where did he go? Oh. You know, I kind of don't want to wake him up, but at the same time, he did send me all over the place in search of eggs. So... I also just don't... care much. 
Hey, Langley. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you something? If you must. <sighs> this one like would like to know a couple of things. Uh, about this prophecy of yours? The Inigo prophecy. Yes. What do you want to know? What exactly is the Doomstrider? I'm horrified by how little I actually know on the subject. I think it's a human, or at least I believe it walks in a human form. My dreams and visions are often metaphorical, so it's hard to discern exactly what it is, or the nature of the destruction it'll bring. Hmm. What does the Doomstrider look like? There are two dreams. In both, I see a towering, dead-minded, red-eyed monstrosity walking the world, leaving sorrow, death, and despair in its wake. The very gods are powerless to intervene. In one vision, I see them watch in horror as Nern decays and rots. Um... Okay, what happens in your other vision? That one is a little better. It starts out in much the same way, but this time the champion is there to stop the Doomstrider. I see a baby blue Khajiit elude death before his first birthday. I see him grow into a great warrior. I see him and I talking in earnest. And I see the gods rejoice as he defeats the demon. Okay. Uh, your vision of the Doomstrider is, uh, metaphorical, you say? Yes, I hope so. I'm inclined to believe that the images I see are not literal. The destruction I witness could be my mind's way of translating any great catastrophe. Perhaps the Doomstrider is an evil man who gains great power. Perhaps it's not a man at all. Maybe it represents famine or disease or even a wicked idea that infects every mind it touches. That said, considering Inigo is the champion, and his skill set revolves around killing... And he's very good at it, by the way. I think it is more likely that the Doomstrider has a corporeal form. Oh, great. Cool, so we have to look out for a... uh, A a red-eyed... Monstrosity. Cool! Can I ask you something else? (laughs) I suppose... Oh, this is so weird. Anyway, uh, can you teach me the Summon Inigo spell, by chance? It's rubbish. Tosh. Hardly works at all. All <laughs> it seems to do is give poor Inigo vague directions to the summoner and a headache. Well, my mother happens to be a conjurationer, conjurationist, depending on where you're from. I might be able to give it a whirl. I followed the instructions dutifully. There's no reason it shouldn't work. No one knows Inigo better than I do. Ahem. What's that got to do with anything? The conjuration mage who created the spell told me that as long as I was Inigo's true friend, I should be able to get it to work. It's clearly broken. I'm the greatest ally Inigo has. I'm sorry, did I just roll my eyes out loud? Uh, anyway, Inigo and I know each other pretty well. He did try to kill me at one point. We kind of had a long conversation or three about it. I still think I could give it a whirl and have it work, especially if that's the case. Oh, I'm sure you know him a little, but I've been studying him for decades. Okay, no, look. if the spell doesn't work for me, it won't work for anyone. Uh, Langley! Right, Inigo. Good grief! I think you should let her try it. Thank you. Exactly. What? Why? Ugh. Langley, I am sure we are great allies in the making, but my friend here and I have a more immediate bond. What do you mean? Oh, I didn't realize you were an item. No, 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 no! Not that kind of bond. We have traveled together. We have enjoyed sharing our views on many subjects. We have fought bravely side by side. Yeah. I have placed my life in her hands. 
what I'm trying to say is, we are friends. Go on, hand over a copy of the spell. I am the only one who will suffer if it goes wrong. I see. I won't argue with you, even though it's a waste of time. I will do as you ask. Thank you. <sighs> what is the worst that can happen? A headache. You don't want to know. If we're going to do this, we must be scientific. Inigo, you stay here, and your friend and I will go outside. In the middle Once of the night. Once we're on the okay. path, I'll give you the spell, and you can try unsuccessfully to teleport Inigo to us. Stare vacantly if you understand. Good <sighs> luck, my friend. I will wait and brace myself. Okay, you can quit the vacant gazing routine now. Mm -mm. Come on, we should head outside and get this over with. After you. Uh. Now that he's gone, I just want to say I kind of hate him. <laughs> anyway. Hopefully no werewolves. We will see. Alright, Langley. Shall we? Hello. Right, let's get started. Here is the spell. I had to pry it open just to read half the incantations. I doubt you'll have better luck. Well, you obviously have not known many necromancers from elsewhere. Trust me, it's a very particular brand of necromancy. Inconceivable! <laughs> Just you wait, I bet your hands explode when you cast it. Oh, we will see about that. All right. Um. <laughs> oh dear. The question is, do I actually have enough magicka? What? There it goes. How did you do that? Whoa! It worked. I am outside. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Let us test its <laughs> range. Try to place me farther away. Oh jeez, do I have to? Again. Okay. Uh, where do you want to get put? All right. Let us test this range. Try to play. <laughs> Good. Okay, if you say so. My friend, that was wonderful. Did you see? One moment I was inside, casually not tasting Langley's cooking. Then, whoosh! <laughs> I saw your face, and I was out here. It was amazing. How does it feel? It feels good. No mind vibrations at all. It is like a brief warm embrace, followed by a pleasant floaty sensation. There is something else. Uh... What? It's not like skooma, is it? Because that would be really, really weird. When you summoned me, I felt like I had a choice. That I could choose not to go if I didn't want to. This is a fantastic tool, my friend. Oh? I knew you could do it. You are outstanding! Observation. The subject huh. seems to be physically unaffected by the spell. He is, however, exhibiting poor character judgment. You are a funny fellow, Langley. Poor character judgment, my tail. My friend here did a fantastic job getting the spell to work. Oh, it's a good idea. The subject is clearly delusional. Langley, would you shut the up? The subject does not sound nearly as good as the champion. Did I offend you in some way? I hope not. Without you, we never would have gained such a wonderful spell. I hope you know we are grateful for all you have done. It's not you, Inigo. Oh, good grief. It's her. Really? The spell shouldn't work with just anyone. It was supposed to form a link between us. Well? This idiot broke it! Hey! I think that maybe the spell works because of the link my friend and I already share. You should not take it personally. We three are a team now. We need each other and should not be fighting amongst ourselves. You and I are a team. All this moron can do is collect eggs. How useful Hi. is that going to be when we take on the Doomstrider? That is I only have one of my friend's many talents. Dagger. Trust me, you could not wish for a more worthy ally. We yeah. shall see. I hope you're right. I'm getting cold. I think I'll head inside. 
Feel free to make yourself at home and stay as long as you like. When you leave, uh -huh. I'll be sure to contact you with my lesser version of the spell if I hear anything new. Thank you, Langley. I am glad we finally met. I mm. am too. I can see you're every bit the champion this world needs. I'll see you soon. I'm sorry if I spoke out of turn earlier. I'm sure you don't mean to be annoying. <sighs> Being referred to as an idiot is annoying. But I suppose Inigo is correct. We should try to get along and all of that. But if you ever call me an idiot again... I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's not going to be pleasant. Yes, I agree. Please don't take anything I say to heart. I know I can be insufferable at times. Right. Goodbye for now. Yep. See ya. I am glad you are giving Langley a chance, my friend. I believe he means well, even if he is not very good at showing it. Uh-huh. That's an understatement. I wanted to knock his block off. I do not blame you. He is quite a character. But accepting his apology helped smooth things over, I think. Anyway... We solved the mystery of my vibrating brain, and you got a powerful new spell. A spell they do not teach at any college, I'll wager. <laughs> Probably I not. I am still trying to digest everything Langley told me. There is a lot to sort through. Mm -hmm. For now, we get on with our lives until he contacts us again. I have a feeling we are at the beginning of a fantastic adventure, my friend. Well... We are also at the beginning of a snowstorm, it looks like. I don't really want to put down a bedroll in there with him. I, I think my eyes have steamed up. Uh, no, that's just the fog. <laughs> in a go. You're the best friend anyone could ever ask for, you know that? Even if you are displaying poor character judgment. <laughs> I agree with Langley, but I agree about him rather than about me. Anyway. Let's go bunker down for the night. No, I'm tired. I suspect you're tired too. Uh, hopefully we don't have to go collect more snow thrush eggs in the morning. I'd like to get down to Falkreath again. Ugh, we might have to go through a labyrinthian. We will see. I'm not looking forward to trying to figure out who or what this Doomstrider is. 